Hello everyone, you can call me Buster, and welcome back to episode, I believe, 15 of Wargroove. In the last episode, we restarted uh, chapter 3-3, started a new strategy, and so far this new strat has been working out beautifully. So right now the things I have to be aware of is this ballista right here taking out my swooper, which right now it cannot, which is great. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is, actually, I forgot, or I remembered this time. Let's turn on animations so that we can see what the swooper looks like. Use your magic. Ooh, it's like little, little, uh, air bullets. Bullets? Missiles? I don't know. Pretty cool. Alright, now that we've seen that, I'm going to change it back to commanders only, because, as you know, it's very, very, uh, quick. Alright, so what I think I'll do is I'll move you two down, and I'll just try to get the first strike on this ballista. Because why not? Um, now this guy is coming over here to harass. So let's see, swordsman, you go here. I think I will actually build an alchemist or shaman, mage, whatever, down here. And I'll send you down here as well. Um... Now, her, her groove is ready. Let's see. She is a little bit low on HP, though, now. So what I think I'll do, I could do this. Ah, he crits because he's on a mountain. But that's okay, I think. Should I just use her groove? No, I, think, I really think I should save her groove. And then this, I'm out of range. So, here is fine. They won't be able to kill me next turn for sure. That pikeman can't reach me. This guy is only doing 15% to me right now. Yeah, he still won't be able to reach me because this takes three. So he'd have to go one, two, three, four. And he only moves three. And he can't move over the mountains either. So yeah, she's safe right there. Let's send the swordsman down. In fact, I can capture the village. I really want to do that so that Nuru can heal at it next turn, assuming they don't attack it, which... In fact, this is... That's the only target for this pikeman now, so maybe I should have waited on that, but that's okay. Um, you... Yeah, I can't even move that far because I'm an archer. Archers are painfully slow. I guess I don't need to worry too much about staying out of the alchemist's range now that he's down to four, but... I'm still going to be pretty careful about it. You what to do with you. Whoops. Let's not end our turn. So 33, 32. I can do a collective about 65% damage against this trebuchet. But then this guy will kill one of them. I think that's worth risking. I mean, he will kill one of them. There's no question about it. But I do need to take down this trebuchet because Mercia and the gang are going to be coming down here soon enough. And I just... Uh, there's going to be more stuff spawning down here throughout the map, I feel. So, I can't really just rush a bunch of units up here to try and take this guy out. What I could do... is send this guy up. In fact... Oh, there's another alchemist coming, though. I really can't be using air units in this vicinity at all. Yeah, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to sacrifice one of these guys to try and take out this trebuchet. In fact, I might even sacrifice both of them because he's going to come down and kill one, and then next turn I can use one of these to finish it off. You know what? I don't need to finish it off. It's really weak right now. It can't do too much now. So let's not do that. Um, you... Can you kill him? No, of course you can't, because it's... It's a... Uh, it's a pikeman, but it's fine. I'll use Mercia to finish it off. That'll get me some groove charge. It's very important that you always kill off weak units with your commander, if it's a smart move to do so, because you get like 50% groove charge for doing it. And now, I can't, I can't even one-shot you. I cannot even one-shot you. And then I'll get, uh shot by this these two well not this guy but this guy should be able to one two three four 
No, never mind. This is perfectly safe, actually. He put this pikeman in a very poor position, actually. Alright, well, let's go over into the forest so I don't get as much retaliation damage and get the first strike on this guy. Awesome. Incredible. Um, I do need to make sure I get nice and far away, though, so that he can't gallop up and get the crit. Here we go. Uh, this guy, this guy, this guy. I really would like to get the first strike on this guy, but even if I did that, and then... Because I would die in retaliation, then he would still kill this guy and I'd just be left with one. That's just a really bad idea in general. Um, I've got this dude up here. Um, actually, I took out the alchemist for the most part, so let's send you down here. I think this place is fine for now. Like, these two are probably going to end up dying. At least one of them will. I don't know. We've got another swooper here. It's smart to send this swooper here. I built this alchemist, but it's not going to get there for a little while yet. And I don't have money, so let's enter. Alright, I think we're doing okay here. There's not too much the enemy can do to really hurt me right now. I've been playing carefully while also getting up into the fray. Yeah, he's dead. That's fine. We expected that, and that's dead too. I kind of expected that. Ooh, I do have to be careful of that trebuchet though. And that ballista just moved right next to me. Oh! A swooper! That's not great. Ooh. It's like it knew it was going to get a swooper. Uh, that sucks a lot. Hex costs 300. It's not worth it. Oh my gosh. And yeah, it is just within the range, too. Well, shucks. What do I do against this? Maybe I could build a second swooper, actually. That might be worth doing. For now, though, I think I'll run away. How's that sound? I think I'll do that. Yeah, these guys are going to take a while to get into the fray. Once I get my alchemist down here, I shouldn't be too afraid of these guys. Plus, I can always build more leaf wings right here. Here we go. Swordsman, come down and just do your thing. Can I shoot on the alchemist? I can. Or I can shoot on this guy. In fact, what should I do first? Oh, I should do this. Well, this pikeman will then kill me. <laughs> I need to get away with Nuru and heal. That much I know for sure. Let's do something like... Actually, I can do it from the mountain. I need to be careful of this, though, because this will shoot on my leaf wing. I'd love to kill this, but then the pikeman will get me. I'd love to kill this, but then that will get me. Um, I do need to kill that as well. So I can kill that. Yeesh. Alright, let's do this. Send the leaf wing right like so. Let's see. In this force tile, you are, you are safe. So yeah, that should be fine. What I would love to do is capture this village with the swordsman and then immediately heal with it uh, for Nuru. Let's see. Getting the first strike is not great. Um, ugh, I need to keep my... I, I'd really love to get the first strike on this pikeman, basically. Oh, this trebuchet is going to shoot down the village. It's fine, though, I think. Well, what, what could happen is I could capture this and then heal. That will bring me back up to 9, and then that'll go down to 1. And then it could be that either this archer or this trebuchet can shoot on the village to bring it down, and then this thing will capture it again. Yikes, what should I do here? I think... What I will do is I'll attack you. Jeez. I've got another swordsman coming. 
I'd love to do this. This might be worth losing the knight, to be honest. Because the pikeman will probably kill it. If it doesn't, then the, uh, the archer will finish the job. And like I said, I don't know, this guy's low on health now, though. Let's see, can you... you cannot shoot on that space. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to capture this village. I'm going to then immediately reinforce. Luckily, that didn't cost as much as I thought it would. And then I'm going to take out this trebuchet. I think that's very important. That costs 900, and this costs 600. Compared to this costing 150, so that's probably not cost effective in the end, but... For the sake of opening up the way for my other units, it's nice. This will probably kill the village, but it will not be able to capture it now. Um, plus, hopefully, this can't quite kill me, and then this thing will not be shooting on my my leaf wing, and instead will be trying to finish the job with the knight. So, keeping that in mind, I'm going to build another green guard because I expect the one that I have to die. Now, I'll go over here charge my groove by killing you. Kapow. So that should be a full groove charge as it, as it is. Um, so you do 87. You should probably not do it. Yeah, you still do really decent damage against you. Let's see. You take 16 in retaliation. If I bring you up here, you take 19. So yeah, it's probably more effective for me to do this. Especially since you're worth less, monetarily speaking. Now you go up here, finish him off. Now, this is great, actually, because I hope this guy comes up here to start attacking these guys. I don't know if he can kill the dog or anything, but if he does not actually finish it off, then I can just use my groove to heal them back up, which would be amazing. And then you... Maybe I could just leave you back here. Yeah, I'll finish you off. Now, I could take out either of these, but I don't think that's a great idea. There's a lot of air units coming this way, and anti-air. What is good against a swooper? Just another swooper? Another skyrider? Vulnerable to, of course, the alchemist and the ballista. And I think just the other which which class? I think so. That looks like a little spear. So if I go here and do that, no, I don't know if this is the same thing. But basically, if I could get an alchemist to kill it, but then it's so fast that it could outmaneuver an alchemist easily. Gosh. Maybe I should do another swooper and just send it over here. Ah, what should I do here? Well, first things first, let's actually send this guy over here. Oh, I can't actually get out of his range over there, can I? Oh no, I can, because there's a mountain protecting me. Perfect. So go over there. So you won't be able to, whoops, you won't be able to kill me. You could shoot on me, but you only have two health, whatever, it's not going to do much. Um, okay, so now we're in build mode. I already built this guy, so I don't have any money. Plus, I reinforced Nuru, so that's it for that. Yeah, you're dead. That's okay. It means he didn't shoot on my, uh... Oh, that's perfect. It means he didn't shoot on my leaf wing. Ah, another alchemist. But this guy's not a huge issue. I'll just do that. I have no problems doing that. Um, now let's see. You get the first strike here. You attack. You go here. Now can you finish it? You can. Now check this out. Heal them all right back up. That is how you're supposed to play this map. That right there. I can just tell. <laughs> it's just so good. Alright, so... Now, let's see here. I think I'll just have you shoot on this guy, get rid of him. Now, Nuru, I think, yeah, I'll send you right here. You're good to go now. 
you should be able to take some more punishment. You go here, capture this village. Whoops. This swordsman, go down and capture this village down here. Now this should be okay as long as I keep it out of range of the archer and especially the alchemist. And I'll keep them both over here, because there's also this guy coming, which I don't want to take a hit from. This guy is also on his way. Yeah, I did get shot, but it didn't do much. Okay, so... Um, if I stay on this tile here, I'm out of range of this guy. He can still be of some use down in the southern front, so that's great. Send my own alchemist coming down. Ooh, alright. Now, what do... I do need to take this guy out... But if I do that now, then this ballista is going to shoot me right down, and that's going to suck. Plus, I'm not actually going to kill you. I will do 80%. So that'll really neuter this thing, but I'll have to build another one before that's really worth doing. Ah. I think I'm just going to have to keep running for now. But I will build another, another swooper. Because I desperately need it over there. I cannot build a ground unit, of course. So let's see. Alright. So... Ah, I keep doing that. So, um, right, right, up, up. That C tile right there is safe. And then... Can you kill this? No. Oh well. That's fine. I don't need you to kill it. You'll just get killed anyway. It's just he only has three hit points, so it's not that great. Um, I have 55 gold, so let's end our turn now. We have no more units to use. No, I don't need to skip that. Kerpow! Oh. She takes so long. Like, she sets up for her attack, and then she just sits there for a sec. And then she body slams them. Can't say I'm complaining, I guess, but... Alright, so... Is that another ballista? Is that another ballista? It's another ballista. My goodness. What to do against all this? I'm not sure what the uh, intended counter is for that. Maybe I could just leave it alone. In fact, oh duh, these guys have to go over the land route. But these guys I can lure across and away from the ballista. Duh. So I want to get you away from here. You're super slow. You cannot kill me. I'm just going to run away, and you can try to chase us, but it's not going to work. <laughs> um, so, Mercia, you go down here and start taking some attacks from this guy. Oh. oh, no, he can't. Oh, he can get to the mountain. That's why he can attack behind her. That's fine. I'll just... Oh, he could have gotten the first strike, actually. I didn't realize that. Whatever. It's okay. You go here. I really want to get this guy next to Mercia so that she can use her groove to heal it. Now, what to do next down here? I think it would be smart to do this. You're probably not in range of that guy or that guy. Perfect. Um, I do not believe... Let's see. This guy cannot hit that tile. This guy's weak, and this guy doesn't do too much against CO, so I can do this safely, I think. Uh, but I'm at 6. So that does... Uh, 11 back to me. I'm at 65, so that'll put me down to 50. I'll say 50. I'll just round it down. That should do another 10. That should do maybe another 10. So yeah, I'm safe. This is my fight. Uh, pow! Plus I have other units to come down and hit the two dudes who are down here. Um, so I took down the alchemist pretty well. He can still attack a lot of tiles, so I need to be careful with these guys. You... Oh, you can't actually finish it. Alright. Let's get the first strike on you. That's a good, good, good trade right there. Capture that. Beautiful. And... I could just start attacking with the Leaf Wings. This guy... I don't know. 47% is... Uh, much weaker than it could be. Let's have you come down here and attack this swordsman. 
go here just to block off a little bit. So if I kill this guy, I still want to avoid getting the first strike off from this guy. So let's go here. You're at three, so you don't really matter right now. Um, can you hit that square? You you actually can't because I'm in the way. So one, two, three, four, five. But if this guy were out of the way, he could actually hit that tile. So that's fine. I'll just hang back a little bit. Jeez. All right. You go down here. Um, yeah, I am still glad that I built this other swooper because this ballista... Yeah, I need to take out this swooper right here. Do you have the same range? You don't. Of course you don't. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, if I kill this ballista from there, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, he could he could make it back to uh, kill me. So I just need to stay out of range, out of range, out of range. All right, so you, I'll keep you right here on this corner beach tile, and then you, I need to keep. I'll just put you. Yeah, here is fine. All right, and then I'll send you over here. You can deal with this guy as well as this guy, assuming they continue trying to come this way. And now it's building time. So what do we want to build? Um, I might just build like a swordsman and then save my money because I have a lot of the good stuff that I need right now. Um... I could either build another air unit, which is kind of expensive, and I also don't really need it. Yeah, I'm just going to build a slasher. I'm going to save my money. Maybe I build a trebuchet or something like that. Whoops. I didn't mean to skip that. I forgot. I know that from experience uh, doing the uh, Advance Wars Days of Ruin series and also streaming Advance Wars that... People generally enjoy seeing the animations, but at the same time, they take up a lot of time. And, you know, I explained this already, that I'm trying to keep my episodes a certain length. Alright, so new should be okay down there. Yep. So that's kind of a nice trade-off, just having the animations go commanders only. Ooh, what's that? What? A fell bat? Quick, Mercia! We have to get out of here as fast as possible! I'm coming! Yes, outrun the Felbats. What an ingenious plan. Felbat. So, this is just a dragon. It's a Dargon. Look at that giant lizard. It's just a lizard. Nothing else. Incredibly powerful. Air to ground unit. Critical hit when target is standing on a road. Holy crap. Where they get the least amount of defense already. My goodness. Can, can you do anything else? You're just, you're just a strong unit. This is a bomber, by the way. If you've played Advanced Wars, this is the bomber equivalent. This guy is extremely dangerous. Um, he can move eight tiles, which is even faster than this. I should be able to take it out with a swooper. If I can happen to get in range. This can only attack ground units, I think. So it should be okay, but... This guy is here, this swooper is here, and it's staying just out of range of my my swoopers. Ah, this is tough. So what I think I can do here, this swooper is keeping this guy covered? Actually, he's not. What the heck? Why wouldn't you... He's dead now, and it's all your fault <laughs> for not... Okay, well, cool. Now I think what I'll do is... Uh, I'd love to take this guy out. Let's see. If I went, like, right here to attack this guy, then this swooper could then come and attack it. And then you would be in range of this swooper. So I think I'll do that and try to bait out the enemy swooper. Do that. Now, I think as long as I move this out of range, which I will do right now, I just need to keep these guys away from this swooper this turn, so that hopefully it only has this swooper right here to target. And if it does that, then I will have successfully baited it out, 
and then I can go and attack it with this whoops this swooper next turn because as you can see from my attack range no matter which side my swooper gets attacked from I can still bring this guy in and, and attack and there's no other swooper or ballista or anything to prevent me from doing that so I do need to make sure I don't do this on um, you just go ahead and come up here I think I might use you to either kill the other archery that's here or I can just attack the ballista maybe doesn't really matter um, I don't know if you can one-shot the archer though so I need to be careful right so you actually no you cannot get the finishing blow so you do this so that you can get the finishing blow because I need to charge my groove as much as possible so I can heal up everybody really nicely boom we're at 80% just like that um, so it should be safe to come down like so. The swooper can't attack us. It could choose to use Hex, I suppose. That's something important to keep in mind. Alright, so now let's see what we do here. You attack... Actually, did it say you could... No, you can't attack this. You can attack the village, but you can't attack the uh, aeronauts. So let's see. I need to get these aeronauts away to make sure that the swooper doesn't decide to target it. This is not a swooper. This is a Skyrider or a witch. It's only called a swooper when it's the green faction. Alright, I just need to make that clear that I know that. Um, you know, I could use my groove. I'm still going to save it. I really want to go make her go way up here and then summon a wagon just for the lulls, for the memes. I could have used it in, in hindsight already, and then probably charged it up again. But whatever. Kill you. Kill you. Um, go up here. Reinforce. Because you desperately need it. Now you cannot hit that. I think I should be able to safely have those two wait right there. It's out of range of this guy. So yeah, you wait there. And then you already capped that village. So you go over here. Oh, I could crit this for the kill. Uh, why not? Oh, it didn't kill it! <laughs> it's, it's at 2%! Dang it! Uh, oh. You know, I was really... I was... I, I really thought it would be worth just, just killing it. Because I could, but... Now that I look at this, that was a really stupid idea, because now this thing's going to kill me, and I didn't even kill it. I did not even kill it. So there's luck even when attacking villages and stuff. Great. Let's build another green guard to replace the one that I just got killed, shall we? Cool. Alright, so he took the bait. He also took that, which was not bait. That was literally just a misplay on my part. Oh boy. Oh, wow. Archers can attack witches, too. There's another swooper here! After I just lost one of my swoopers to bait out this one. Gosh darn it. You need to die. No, he didn't quite actually die, but you can die. He didn't die still! <laughs> I'm so livid right now. Alright, well, you know what? That's all the time I have for this episode. I just realized I'm going a little bit long, so... We'll continue this turn in the next episode. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. Please remember to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe before you go because we're going to continue dominating Mission 3, Act 3 in the next episode. But until next time, goodbye everyone.